I grew up in a Denver that was segregated. And as I look at this city now, it is brown, it is white, it's the Southwest, it's Mexico. We've pretty much got everything. And I think we are continuing to figure out a way of all of us having everything all in the same place and all of us being able to be a part of it. My name is Tony Garcia. I am the Executive Artistic Director at Su Teatro. Su Teatro is a cultural arts center. We're called Su Teatro because it means your theater. It never belonged to us. We are a producing company, which means we create our own work. And we are a presenting company as well, which means we bring in other artists. Uh, we also have a, a youth component, the Cultural Arts Education Institute. So it's a place where there's usually something happening. It's a place where we want people to feel comfortable. We want it to be very welcoming. It's not my teatro. It's your teatro. The importance of Su Teatro is the needs of the people to serve its community. It's an active theater. We're doing contemporary pieces. And it reflects the conditions and the emotional changes that take place in a community. And let's take it from a ticket sign. Ready? One, two, three, four. Yeah, ticket sign, yeah, ticket sign. You walk into Su Teatro on any night of performance, and you'll see this rainbow community sitting in here. They'll be speaking in English and Spanish. They consider this their home. This is theirs. It's like you're sitting in Tony's living room. When you say the word community, Su Teatro is community. You're always welcome. I'm out of the tune now. Sometimes it doesn't matter that you're watching. <laughs> For me, I started to find art in not only music, not only in words, not only in visions, but in food, in clothes, in breathing, in people's faces, and just all those human interactions, because that's what it is. Art is about human interactions. Never do anything just because I told you to do it, okay? Do it because you understand what I'm telling you to do. Tony plays all about people and how people impact each other. Then you put into that his use of music. It just brings all the flowers to it, I think. Music was always a part of, of our life. My mother sang, my dad sang. I'm not saying we sang good, but what I remember coming into my house is how the music took us through sad times and happy times and connected those pieces of our life. And it was about all of us being in that same room and doing this. Well, we ended that one good for once. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so after I say Chicano, we all say power. power. And then Chicano. Power. Story is the most important element to the understanding of who you are. And before we lose the next generation, we need to get as many of their stories told as possible. And the wonderful thing that Tony's doing here is to tap our community for those stories. If we win, we win. If we lose, we lose. But we'll give you a good fight. His sense of history, the importance of history, and the importance of not only his people, but the human race. He is a keeper of the flame, we like to say, the keeper of the cultural flame. Tony is one of those that is never going to be extinguished because he has so many little, little fires that he's lit over all these years that are going to keep that flame burning. We have been here since the beginning and we will be here in the end. I have never felt that what I have done for my community was greater than what I have received from my community. I feel as an artist, is I'm not sure that there is another artist who may have gotten as much out of this community as I have. I've always felt as though I was the recipient rather than the donor.